What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite retail Fox Boxy come back out to the brand new episode of City Skylines 2, Port St. Lacey. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be extending the downtown a little bit, just messing around with a few things, obviously. You know, just overall having some fun working on some stuff out here, too, to try to get my mind off of the recent events, which I've already made a community post on here, too. So, um, I suppose that's, um, good news for some people out here, but definitely not for others, but... I'm gonna elect to leave that in that community post out here too. I've I've elected to kind of like hold off before really doing any sort of action here, obviously. So yeah, you'll know once I kind of like make another post on the whole subject out here. But anyways, um, right now what we're doing is we're adding some more unique buildings. We're of course adding some more European skyscrapers. Although I'm really adding these European skyscrapers because they kind of remind me a lot of the condo buildings that you'll typically see. And a lot of beach towns, you know, they kind of remind me of that. Like they kind of look like something I'd expect to see in Myrtle Beach because um, I was there not too long ago, and yeah, there were a lot of buildings that kind of looked like that. They had that concrete reinforced steel look and everything like that. Of course, dumbass me forgot to turn on Anarchy before the um, recording, so I had to replace that entire building. Ain't that a stinker? Won't be making that mistake again for a long time here. But anyways, right now we're kind of working on. A few other things right about now, obviously getting the skyline down, and we do actually get what should naturally be the final road network of downtown as well done today on top. I think in the next episode, it's entirely possible we start in an office park, you know, kind of like an area to separate the downtown from the factory district, because I do want ports in the area. I mean, it is called Port St. Glacy, so might as well, like, you know, make sure that we have some industrial ports out here too, especially since we're going to be right on the line of the Atlantic, considering we got I-95 right over there, and it's actually a fairly sizable city too. It's actually kind of impressive right there. I don't know if the real Port St. Lucie is any bit like, you know, this size out here too. Again, I'd have to look it up on Google Maps four episodes later, and I still have yet to do that. That's okay, because I'm going for a, I want to say more of a Miami style, kind of like a mini Miami anyway. But yeah, that's definitely gonna be fun here. Anyways, right about now, we're kind of working on a few other things. Obviously, we got some we got some beautiful little tiles being worked on at the moment. Of course, it did take me a few attempts to kind of like, you know, get everything down. And I think it actually does look pretty good, you know? You got everything you really need over here. Of course, I had to add in a couple fountains and some benches too, because I thought they would look pretty cool there. And yeah, I think that does look pretty nice here, you know? I think it's all come together. And of course, it is an A Foxy Yukari City build without the good old fashioned mixed use zones. So yeah, we just, I decided to get us some mixed use zones out here. Obviously it is definitely a really nice thing to have. I gotta love it. But then again, you can never in my mind go wrong with mixed use developments of really any kind. I mean, I tend to inspire a lot of, and actually this is gonna lead me into the um, topic of the community post out here too, technically, but I tend to inspire a lot of my um, city building, like, you know, particularly like suburban, especially designs by a city not too far from me by the name of Carmel out here. I, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you have probably heard of this city before. It is actually the most famous suburban, or most famous suburb, actually, outright in the United States. And it's actually basically living proof that um, our suburbs here in the U.S., they don't have to suck. They suck because we want them to suck. They basically, like, we, we basically make them terribly designed by choice. That's pretty much the whole um, thing I'm basically trying to say here. But yeah, I do want to put it down some mixed use. I don't think I really get any done today, though, because I just realized, oh yeah, I changed this out for some more residential towers. That's going to be another thing you're going to be seeing a lot up here, an increased amount of density. And, and, and that's an addition to the mixed use zones. As I said, huge urbanists down here. We might also include a, um, I, I don't know, I want your guys' thoughts on this too, but I might also include like an elevated rail and a um, bussy service out here too, which is typically what I call bus service, but I think we already know where the joke originates from. Listen, I don't care what the results of the election over here were. I'm still gonna make that joke out here too, because at this point, I've got nothing to lose out here. That's kind of my thought process at the very least. I've got nothing to lose, so yeah. And actually, that is kind of the reason for that previous community post as well, too. As I said, I gotta consider taking my HQ Search International. It's unlikely right now. I, I do want to point this out. It's very unlikely. But it could happen in the... It could happen. I'm saying it could. I, I just want everyone to be aware of this, okay? Just, you know, be very wary. But anyways, right now, back to non-controversial topics out here. We're basically going to add on a few, um... Basically going to add on a few more little towers over here. Nothing too serious right now. And actually, I recently discovered this in this particular episode. I, I should have used this in Protogen Island, but there's really no way for me to actually do it now. 
but apparently there were European unique buildings that were specific to high density residential. And you better believe as soon as I saw that, I had to plop them down. I, I kind of started reminding myself a little bit about the walkie talkie, that particularly infamous construction gaffe that occurred over in London, I believe it was. And that's why North American style skyscrapers are typically not too popular in Europe. I, I do want to point that out here. Although granted, the um, skyscraper itself was pretty badly designed. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty bad, um, like it's a lawsuit waiting to happen if you design a building that just burns people's cars. Like it could genuinely burn people alive. It's like a giant magnifying glass and everybody in the city is just like an ant. But yeah, Plainly Difficult made a video on it. And let me tell you right now, it got hectic very quickly. But yeah, that's kind of what we're going to try to avoid here, especially since we're building this city on the eastern coast of Florida, relatively close to Miami, actually. In fact, I'm pretty sure the real Port St. Lucie is like 50, 75 miles north of Miami. I I'm throwing out these large numbers, by the way, because Florida is deceptively large. So I, I, it's very possible I could be wildly off, but I'm pretty confident in my guess on that, too. But yeah, we're kind of building like, you know, pretty close to the tropics out here. In fact, we're like, what? 2,000 kilometers from the Tropic of Cancer, which is the Tropic of the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere Tropic would be the Tropic of Capricorn, if I recall my maps correctly out here, because I used to spend a lot of time at school looking at globes out here, so... Yeah, I, I know my geography pretty well, just gonna say that here and now, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to design the skyscrapers not to do that, and... You better believe I'm going to be making a case study on that as well, too, because I don't want people burning alive. I mean, you already got to worry about getting melanoma from spending 0.2 seconds out in the sun as it sits right now. So, yeah, that's definitely fun for the population already. But anyways, right about now, we got a few other things going on. I'm kind of moving that tree around a little bit because I still want these tree-lined avenues. And you already know that I'm going to go straight for the palm trees. Like, I'm just going to keep it a buck. I'm going to go straight for the palm trees on the avenues, especially if I'm building in the, um, especially if I'm building in a more tropical, or I guess in this case, subtropical region, because it still, it still does get cold on occasion that far south. I mean, the winters, for those of my viewers who are actually old enough to remember the winters of 1976 and 1977, oh my, those winters were something else. It actually snowed in Miami, like that far south. Although it did melt mostly by 10 a.m., it, it was enough to cancel school and cause a whole host of problems there, too. And that's the last snow day they've had over there, too, which is definitely a weird concept to me. You know, I'm from the north out here, too. About as far north as a lot of southern things will actually go, so you won't see um, Zaxby's or Chick-fil-A further north much than where I am. But anyways, right about now, we're starting to get pretty close to the end of the episode as we start, like, you know, adding on these little road networks here and everything like that. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You had a reminder three minutes in. You're going to have another reminder coming up at the end screen. If you want to support me a little bit more, that you had an instruction five minutes into the video on how to do that. Until next time, though, take care. Bye for now and have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be.